you know, like it was like 25 people out there joining. Yeah. And what's like, going on? Uh, this is Drew from the Coffee Everywhere Morning Show, man. We trying something new. We moves around. We gets around. Uh, we up in the uh, we up in the building. I got my man Wee sitting here with me. So B, so B Shank on the camera. We just kicking it, like we always do. We just kicking it. Uh, what we got going on this week? Oh, let, let's get it. the Redskins won. <laughs> I, I fell asleep on the yeah. game. I wasn't sure. Okay, Cowboys won. So it's, everything is cool in the city. Yeah, yeah well, my Ready? team lost. Yeah. Feel it, feel it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And y'all was pumped up in the beginning. Well, the Redskins won, uh, Dallas won, so the whole city happy. Yeah. The Metros, everybody letting people know that game coming this week. They could be on or something. I don't know if the Redskins will be able to handle uh, the Dallas. They play Dallas, Dallas on Thanksgiving. Okay. That's going to be a good one. Hey, speaking of Thanksgiving, I, I don't celebrate that. You don't? No. I mean, and now I'm just about to Why, why not? You don't, why you don't um, celebrate the sal a slaughter of the uh, yeah, indigenous yeah. people? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly uh, why. Oh, okay. Because, you know, <laughs> and, and I'm not even going to sit here and act like um, I don't go eat the turkey. Mm -hmm. Or I haven't been over, you know, family's house. So go to my mom's house or my sister's house every Thanksgiving, whatever. Right. But, and, you know, for a long time in my mind, it's been like, well, you know, this, this, this shit is not what it's for. But, like, now, it's like really celebrating them killing the Indians or killing our people right. and taking them. And they came over. Right. Saw the people was here, made a deal. The pilgrims made a deal right, right. with the Indians. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we, this was already somebody's. I don't know how Christopher dis discovered something right. that was already somebody on. Right. Anyway, we already right. know how that shit goes. Yeah, but, but that's deeper than that going yeah. back to the Catholic Church. Because, mm -hmm. like, with the Catholics actually uh, defeated the Moors mm -hmm. in, the, in the 14th century, they took over all their actual landmass. And the Moors used to actually run North America or whatever, so. Right, that's yeah. what taught them, taught them everything. Yeah, yeah. See, I ain't look at it like but that. It's like, yeah. okay, so they made the deal. They they, they broke bread on it. Mm -hmm. Right after that, they sabotaged the Indians, killed them, the people the, that was already here, and took the land and turned, called it America. Mm -hmm. So now, I just be feeling like, and what now more than ever, I'm on my pro black show, you know, just trying to be a little more on it. That's like, yeah, that makes that, sense. Well, well, I, I don't want to celebrate that. And, and you know, we, we ain't going to be able to stop these people that's on it. But, and I'm not saying, I mean, because it ain't me saying it ain't going to stop for so many people anyway, or maybe you can click. But, like, let your kids know. Don't just let them go by what the school teach them. And the pilgrims came over, and they, they, they met the Indians, and they, they, they got together and had a meal, and this is Thanksgiving, and we're going to share this land that America has made. Nah. That's not what happened. That's what they told us, though. Mm -hmm. But that's not what happened. Don't, don't, you, y'all gonna celebrate it, but let your kids know. Or, why choose, I mean, and, and, and it's just as simple as, I tell my kids, well, I ain't celebrating now. We, we go out all the time. We gotta be thankful all the time. We just gonna pick this day right here that they selected, which is the celebration of them taking the land and killing off and conquering the land over here, getting rid of the, the Indians and the black people and taking whatever. And we celebrate that. Yeah, so it's pretty much their holiday. It pretty is. Much. That's what it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah all, of, all of it. All of these joints. So it's like, uh, if somebody, well, I ain't even got to say if. I could say somebody killed one of your mans in there back in the day. So I'm going to put it at one man, you got a man, or we can go family. Somebody killed your grandma or your aunt. And then next year, on the day that they killed your grandma or your aunt or your friend or your man, they have a dinner to celebrate it. Mm -hmm. Would you go? What about it? What about if they don't start celebrating until after the trial over? Some, you know, some years they need to get back. And they celebrate. And not you wouldn't go. But, you know, you could say it's petty or too black or whatever, but that's what we doing. Mm -hmm. We sitting together and then, you know, some people gonna try to, you know, go around, okay, well we know that and but we still you know, now we look at it as a thanks and this and that, but you still doing it their way. Not even understanding how the system is set up, you still doing it their way and, and I I just don't like Celebrating with them, mm -hmm. you know. So to me, it, it, it's um, you know, it's, it's good to see all the family and all that. But my my kids do know uh, that in, in all this celebrating, we're not celebrating what they're celebrating. Right. You're not celebrating Thanksgiving because the pilgrims and the Indians came along and they got along and shared the land and made America. Mm -hmm. No, y'all basically you're really going to celebrate right now because that's what everybody brainwashed to do. So that's what I was doing. I can't. I'm not. I can say something, y'all. You can say something to your family, but 
auntie. You can't you you ain't going into your auntie house on Thanksgiving and telling everybody, oh y'all shouldn't be celebrating it and it's gonna stop. No, and you can so. say it because like my family, you can go in my family yeah. and you can be like, man, y'all, y'all, you know, they'd be like, Joe, what you what, now what you on now? Why you and I'd be like, well I man, I ain't got shit, cause, man, they kill my peoples, man. You know, they celebrate yeah, that, man. Yeah. You know, whatever, you know, they'll laugh about it, they you know, but some them be like, well, I ain't never thought about it that way. Mm. Shit, Thanksgiving, let's do a Thanksgiving for um let's call it Thanksgiving for dads to stay in their kids' life. How about we do that? That's kind of hard, though. A whole lot of these females out here off the, off the chain. I got one that's off the chain. Oh, it's kind of hard. She don't get to get celebrate. She don't get to eat. <laughs> well, some guys I, I just through. went through something. I know I just buried my father on uh, Saturday. Saturday. Baby mother, uh, my youngest son mother wasn't there. She ain't, couldn't get my son or nothing. So my son wasn't at his grandfather's funeral. Yeah, so, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. going out to be. Yeah. Um, his father, Dave, passed away. And had the funeral on Saturday. It is, and it, that's no problem. Her, she's not even thinking about. It. <laughs> but you want your son, yeah, to see or who that is. Yeah, she's like, like my son's mother. She's like a real cat. Like she mm -hmm. basically, uh, like psychology is like one of her actual uh, hobbies. Mm -hmm. I tell her like clinical psychology and neuropsychology is it, it, my passion. I love it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I know how to play. I know how to play. Um, MK Ultra tricks, uh, subliminal uh, messages, and all. I'm, I'm, I'm a king at that. So I survived the '88 uh, crack wars. <laughs> right, right, right. I right. understand that. It, 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 it was Never had to snitch, right. dry snitch, right. or, or none of that. Right. So you got a lot to say. I tell we need. It. I tell. Um, I tell people this. Um, you can't hit a, a moving target, and if you ain't shiny, they ain't looking at you. Mm -hmm. I always kept moving. Was never shiny. I was broke, Brian. Right, 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 right. Let them Everybody doesn't pass. Let them yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, it really needs to be some things. I, I'm serious about that now that we, it came up. Some Thanksgivings for these dads because I, I, I went over a friend of my house the other night. It was like three females there. And all of them was different. One had a husband. One had a baby father who she lived with. One just had a baby father that she don't live with. And why I had a baby father that ain't even seen the kids. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody talk, we all talking, laughing and shit. Cause we like, you know, I do that shit. We talk, I ain't got no problem with my friends. We, we be honest, we talk about it. Throughout the whole thing, with all these different situations with these ladies, they all agreed on the man. Mm -hmm. It's fucked up. In every situation, they had a reason why oh, their man was fucked up. Like they was trying to out top the other one, and instead of like when the dudes around, and I, man, I ain't speaking for a hundred percent of everybody, but I know when me and my friends are around, mm -hmm. and if you say something that's off the wall, like, oh man, my wife said I was being junky because I left my this and that, and I, I did it. You be like, nigga, you did. <laughs> you was, nigga, you a nasty ass nigga. All right. Get your shit up. Mm -hmm. It ain't going like that the other way around. And not, 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 they're not judging uh, each other. So even when a lot of times, even if a female feels her friend is wrong, you won't tell her. You ain't gonna tell her. Mm -hmm. She'll go right at the situation, straight like as if it's right. And her friend is right. Um, uh, I think the platform or the, the position of man is way down on the scale of what is to be taken care of or looked out for in society it's been that way. But now it's that way in the household too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody's so honest, they don't need a man thing. And all of this shit. Yeah, I, I wanted to break that I wanted to break that cycle. That's why I stayed in my household with my wife and kids. Mm -hmm. The whole time I'm still there. I wanted to raise my kids. When I had kids, I figured I was going to that changed me when I had kids. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said I was gonna stay in the same household with my kids. Yeah. And I think uh, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of dudes, um a lot of dudes feel that way mm -hmm. when they have kids. I know they do. A lot of dudes, that, that kid changed a, a, a man's life tremendously, just like a changed woman. Especially a daughter. That really, you know, that really changed, and they want to be there. But like we were saying earlier, or before, a lot of times, females know that. Mm -hmm. And they use that because they feel that they got the system behind them. Mm -hmm. 
So, they do. you know, then once you get in the household, you know, once you get in the household of this relationship, she kind of like filling her mind, this Bama better do what I say. And if he don't, I got I got somewhere I can go. Or I got some people I can call on him and get his money taken, get him locked up. If he don't do what I say the way I say it. I was going to say, once you leave that household, and that's when all that, that's when all that's going to start. Or even if you don't even get into it. Child support and go to jail behind child support and all that. I'm so glad I had to go through that. Yes, and some of the relationships don't even get into where they're even living together as parents. They just... We got a child, child and the relationship didn't work out, and the first thing they doing is running to that court. Child support me, man. I'm gonna tell y'all my, my um, what I went through. I went, I took both my uh, kids, um, um, mothers, uh, the court for custody, mm -hmm. and came out paying child support. Mm -hmm. I, I was trying to get custody, uh, joint custody of my kids, but mm -hmm. the actual judge took it off of custody. And hey, had, put me on child support. Oh, it's set up for them. It's set up, hey, it's set up for them to keep their foot on your neck. Yeah, hey, you do that. It's hey, set, up, you do it's that. set up for you. Go right in there. And uh, my mother always used to tell me that because I, uh, I raised my son. Mm -hmm. He's, so I used to be, you know, making jokes or say something about, I'm about to take, it, take uh, his, his mother for child support. Because right. it would come up instances where, you know, they sneak behind your back and get a kid money. Mm -hmm. 300, 400, 200 dollars. You'd be like, damn, what up? I need that shit. Right, right, that right, shit. right. If it's supposed to be the other way yeah, around, right, right. it, it don't go that way. But um, uh, to go, to go through, they already know that if you don't do it, if he don't do what I say, I'm gonna take this child support. Oh yeah. Hurry, hurry, boy, go right to, right to. My mother always said, "Boy, no, don't you take no, um, don't you take no, you know, don't, don't you take no woman for child support." But in a sense, she was saying, "No, nah, don't you take nobody," because she didn't take my father mm -hmm. for child support. Mm -hmm. She did I didn't not. Want it was three of us. Yeah. She did not take my father for child support, no matter what the fuck. No matter what we went through, mm -hmm. and believe me, it, life was not no crystal stair. Yeah. She never did it. It's not necessary. And then, you know, once they got their little, what well, the, the the scenario was already set. Okay, as far as how you do this to a black man, you know, for a woman, it's already set. Uh, as far as how you can get paid, you know, you can have that baby. Or I have that baby. And some some in some situations in some places, some women are taught. Or led, and they're never even gonna look for a job. They're never even gonna they're gonna get a baby father oh, yeah. and get that check. One or two baby father. But yeah. you know what though? Uh, some women <laughs> get that check. Some women they rather not take you for child support. But when they start talking to their girlfriends, or they get hip from their girlfriends mm -hmm. about why they can do it, right? Mm -hmm. And then they go right on down there. I seen situations where they say, "Oh, I'm doing that," or or do might say, "Oh, no, nah, I'm good, man. My uh, my kids, my ain't take me for child support." You know what I mean? In six months or a year later, he paying child support yeah. because she started talking to her girlfriends and they hipped her. You get that? Yeah. They, they set up the breakup. Just family. because he didn't agree to buy this or buy that a time or two. Yeah, and oh, they, nah. they say we be taking stuff too far. Just check that out. Yeah. Okay, so um, you know, with the child support, uh, in a lot of cases, even with helping or welfare or whatever, they they're not gonna give. Um, they, they'll give the black woman food stamps, oh, yeah. money, support, if you're not there. Right. If the black man is not there, yeah. they'll help. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a setup right there. Yeah. Only way we're going to help you yeah. is if your family is not together. Right. Now flip it over. The white family, they don't tell the, 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 the farmer, the yeah. white farmer, mm -hmm. that uh, if... You, if the husband leave, they will give you money. No, they give them their money because they're together. Mm -hmm. So they can build their farm and right. make this money right. and provide for their generations. Mm -hmm. But for black people, no, they're not giving no, no the family money unless the father is not there. Mm -hmm. They got a whole complex in Florida. Well, you might want to say all these, a lot of these hood complexes mm -hmm. is just run and supported by women with no father there. Right. And you cannot get into that community if you got a father. Yeah, but well that's, that's like every project. That's, that's every like project. Was, yeah. That's like it was in the 60s or 50s or something when uh, you was on welfare. And well, when the women was on welfare, they couldn't have a man in the household. That was in the 60s. That changed like I think it was in right. 65. They couldn't have an iron or a toaster and all yeah. that kind of stuff. They were doing home visits and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And people 60s. hiding that kind of stuff. In the 60s and the 70s, yeah. Yeah, and they're looking at clothes and yeah. everything because they want to see these, these men's shoes or... 
Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So don't give us nothing. They was just hiding. They right. was hiding. They hiding their men. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hiding the clothes when they know they was having a home visit. They were getting all that stuff out of there. Mm -hmm. They should have. Uh, they lucky. They lucky. The secret didn't get out about. Uh, yeah, they lucky it, shit was integrated back in the day, and the secret ain't get out about black men and, uh, from the white women that was having sex with the black women. They don't talk about that a lot. Either. Yeah. yeah, back in the slave days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the white women was hitting, oh, and, yeah. and the black men they was getting. Oh, they, they was, was lining putting, up, putting them out. Yeah, lining them up. They don't talk about that shit a lot. Lining but them see, up. Now I'm gonna tell you something. They had to do that. They couldn't. They couldn't go next door and talk about a. Hey, Man, didn't go next door. Right. Gave it to me. Right. She can't. She couldn't spray that. If, if, if it was like that, <laughs> right now, if if, if 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 they was able to spread the word back in the day, yeah. uh, the first, if, if, when, when the first <laughs> Caucasian lady had interracial sexual acts right. with a black man, right. If, if if it wasn't no whippings gonna come behind it, right. or no shunning, or no nothing come behind it, she was able to tell her white girlfriend, oh, yeah. hey. That thing long, he put it down on me. Right. And that shit spread it right back then. Yeah. Right now today, in America, it wouldn't be no 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 white people. Yeah. Yeah. And the lightest thing would be Steph Curry, they look like Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that'll be it. It would not be no because it would have spread it. And once you touch the black, you you're black. Right. right. So by now, 400 years, that's a lot of gen that's generations. That's about good eight. More than that. Yeah, I'm just talking about the grandma. Man, how they come down? It's young. Grandma, 35. Mm -hmm. So that's about 26 generations. <laughs> <laughs> that's about 26 generations. Hey, they would have been wiped out by now. Mm -hmm. Would have been wiped out had, had, had she not known uh, oh, that we was gonna get hung. Yeah. Or you know that that word can't get out there. But I, but I see the future like that anyway. I think in the future everything will be uh, brown and black anyway. Oh, no. Yeah, but you have a whole lot of interracial marriages that's going on right now. So yeah, well, they trying to put an end to that. We're yeah. talking now. Yeah, but, but, but the thing is, um, I know I'm going to make a whole lot of black women uh, uh, mad right now with the statement, but a whole lot of white women are basically taking care of black, taking care of black men better than black women. They ain't giving them all that actual uh, drama. Drama. Yeah, so I'm like, so you'll start seeing some more of the, uh, of the they call it swirling. Right. You'll, see, you'll, you'll start seeing a whole lot of black women going with the white, uh, with the white man and the Jewish guy and, and vice versa. But the kids are all, oh, everything going to be black. Oh, it's crazy now. Everything yeah. twisted up, man. Right? Yeah, so. you got the, you got the, the uh, same-sex marriages and all that stuff. And yeah. they're adopting kids. And what about the book? It's twisted, man. Right, right. What about the, the book out the window? They don't care. They, they, yeah. they do what they want now. It's twisted you know, now. Uh, the kids have family day in school and be like, uh, they're my two daddies over there. Or yeah. My two mommies. You know what I mean? It's twisted. And, and then they, they get the step kids, you know, the two of them, they get yeah. step kids. And, and, you know, it's people always talk about, well, you got to let this and that. Now, certain shit ain't supposed to go on. Yeah. Certain yeah. stuff is not supposed to go on. Well, a whole man. lot of stuff is created. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's yeah. on the table. And then people just go right with it. Everything's on the table. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and me and my man always be hollering out, what about the book? Like, uh... You, you see it with the religious people. I mean, you get, you have a tenet. You have a thing that you're supposed to follow. Yeah. For for the Christians and the Catholics or whatever religion you have, you have something that you're supposed to follow. Mm -hmm. and You judge other people off right. of this. Right. If they're not with this, they're not right. Mm -hmm. But yet, you can have a word that says, "Man shall not sleep with man." Right. And this is your religion. This is what your Bible says. But then you could you'll go and try to find something in there. To change that around, but it says love each other like I love their love the self and this and that and this and that. But what about this right here? Yeah. I understand what you're trying to figure out in your head because you want to do a certain thing or mm -hmm. you feel a certain. I understand what you what's up in here in your head, but what about this thing you follow? And if you wasn't pushing it the way you was pushing it, then that'd be fine. Mm -hmm. But since you push it the way you push it, then you, it should be some type of backing it up, some type of way yeah. without trying to just even with even with that though following the book though you you got um. Pastors, yeah, that's that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Um, yeah. pastors that's married to a man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two, two, two black, uh, yeah, two black guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. So how how we uh? I mean, and we just fall for anything. So that I you had church and had members fall in that. Right, but that you know, it's all in social, this world, social that's condition and social program. In this world, that's yeah. the way it's supposed to be. Now, you know, that's supposed to be all right. It, it's supposed to, you know, that's supposed to be the normal way of doing things. And 
you know, as free as you're supposed to be, if you voice your opinion that you're not with that shit, you wrong. Yeah. I said, well, I'm not with it. Mm -hmm. I'm not with somebody. Yeah, America backing it up. America backing it up. If you speak on it. But I think, I think, with the, I think with this new Trump regime, 